from 50-50, right? So it's important that when we're on, when we're on 50-50, I need to make sure I'm locking my, uh, my feet together. So when my partner starts standing up, he's going to look away and start standing up. If I don't have this 50-50 locked, he's able to just like uh, step out. Right? So go back. So it's important for me to apply my weight on this hip and I'm locking. So my partner tries to pull, pull out his legs. It's almost, it's hard, right? So what we're going to do here now is I'm going to keep hold of my partner's ankle here. I'm going to keep myself anchored uh, via this leg. And the, the top leg, it needs to stop my partner from being able to run away. From here, I can choose whether I can go for the uh, traditional Oshiro X or we go for the reverse Oshiro X. It doesn't really matter as long as I have this thing locked, top leg immediately stops him from being able to run away from here, here. If I'm going to try to sweep my partner with a tripod sweep, this goes all the way up to his hips. This uh, bottom leg goes all the way down to his ankle and I'm essentially pulling this knee whilst I'm stretching this thing away, up and away. From here, we can start going for a technical stand-up to pass. Now, if we're going to go for a back take, so let's start from 50 feet again. So we're here, I'm locking, my partner starts looking away and standing up. Immediately, I go for this. Just so that like, I'm stopping him from being able to, to run away. From here, my knee goes behind his knee, whilst I, I pivot. And I need both ankle control and my knee behind his knee is applying either pressure to forwards or essentially I'm just stopping him from being able to sit down. From here, if I can grab onto my partner's belt, propel his uh, knee forward to take the back. Does that make sense? Make sure you're locking that 50-50. Yeah, let's try this on three. One, two.